Today we're going to look at a, at a subject as we pray and think something through that should be important and a blessing to all of us. We're going to look at revival. Revival in my heart, revival in our churches. God wants to revive us. And part of our 21 day of prayer, one of the great reasons we do it every year as we open the year, is we want that revival to carry us through the year so we can be effective for God and be who and what He has called us to be. Let me read you the verse once again. We've used a very familiar verse every day. This is 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. And the master speaking says this, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, and this little phrase, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. If there's ever been a promise that God has given that we need in America, that really we need in the world, it's this promise. And I wanna challenge you. I want to commit myself, not just to today, but beginning today and a little bit later uh, before I close, I'm gonna have a prayer with you. I wanna commit myself to do just this. First, I wanna humble myself. And, and would you join me? Let's, Let's before God humble ourselves. Let, let's not wait for Him to have to humble us or for something that happens to bring us humility. Let's realize we can humble ourselves before God because we should be totally grateful for His love and His grace and His mercy. And we are undeserving. If we remember that, we have humility. And He says, if you'll humble yourself and you'll pray, then I'll hear from heaven. There's something that we do. I want to challenge you. I thank you for, uh, for tuning in now. I thank you for listening now. I thank you because you're about to embark on this time of prayer. I hope for the next hour in your life that you will be able to say, I humbled myself and I prayed. And I want to remind you of what the promise says. It says that God, God promised, he says, I'll hear from heaven and I'll do two wonderful things for you. And that promise of God is for all of us. We humble ourselves and we pray. And that, let me get to, to the last one first. He promises to heal the land. He promises that he will forgive us our sins and wash our sins away, and then he'll bring us healing and miracles. I don't know about you, but in my life, there are some areas that need, me, need healing. In my family, in my friends, I know some people, people that I love that I'm close to that need a healing, that need a touch, that need a miracle. And I certainly want to humble myself and pray. And I want to believe that God will forgive my sin and bring healing. Now, can I challenge you to do the same? And I want to lead you in this prayer. And, and I'm going to give you a moment as I pray. I'm going to pray my prayer with you and for you. And then you can repeat the prayer after me. If there's someone around and you can't do that because of embarrassment and people listening, you can do it in your heart. But if you can, verbalize the prayer. Pray it after me and mean it from your heart. And we will move into this, the, the, the 14th day of prayer with the, expecting God to move in great ways. Now let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you now. And with your grace, I come humbly. I cannot have humility except that you remind me, remind me of by being undeserving. Remind me of my failures. Remind me how much I need you. Remind me I don't deserve you. And then, Lord, I humble myself knowing that you receive me, knowing that though undeserving, I am blessed. I am healed. I am touched. Now, Father, I pray that you would send revival. Begin in my heart, and then in the heart of those praying after me. Let your glory touch every life. We humble ourselves, and we pray, knowing that you will lift us up. In your name we pray, amen.